Frankers. Want to go for a ride today with Dad? Well, that'll be fun, hey? Take the old Frankers car. It's kind of a windy day and don't really feel like doing much outside because the weather is definitely going going away. I thought we should uh, do a little ride around in the old Fraser. Uh, some people can't believe it's still going and I'm one of them. Uh, a few people have asked if I still use the car and of course I use it all the time. So let's go for a little ride around the block and just kind of see where this uh, where this thing's at after I believe we're uh, looking at nine years since I bought this car so maybe next year we'll have a big 10th anniversary whatever. Leaves coming off. What do you think, Fraggers? Still like going for rides? That's good. I'm trying to think of uh, any exciting news with the Fraser, and I mean, the, the best thing we can say about it is that there's no exciting news, really. It just continues to hammer along. I did some minor sorting of some bulbs and grounds and stuff this spring I think and man I, I haven't even had room to leave it inside it's been sitting outside all summer and it doesn't really matter it's not like the paint's gonna fade and uh, yeah I was uh, <laughs> it was feeling kind of neglected I think because I got the, the 37 Chevy on the road and I was driving that quite a bit so I thought, well, we better put some miles on the Fraser just, you know, just to say we did. And, you know, I want to keep it roadworthy. I think the best thing for it is a small number of easy trips every year. Keep it plated, keep it going. No plans to restore the car, but no plans to really do much else with it either. I mean, I thought about selling it, but it really means more to me. Uh, now as a sentimental thing that it ever could realize as 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 money like it's not worth anything it's just a fun old banger that we can put all the boys in and drive around and still take it out for dinner kind of I, I wish there was some more exciting news to report with it but it's it just it's just going along you know Speaking of the 37 Chev, I have some sad news. Uh, Laura and I did record an entire afternoon of her driving the car and it went really well and it was a lot of fun. And that was when I discovered that it was the microphone that was uh, defective on my camera. And of course it's all muted. So I'm really sorry about that. I'm sorry for wasting her time. I don't know if we'll have time to re-record it all before the winter here, but uh, I apologize to you guys. Uh, I finally got a chance to go drive the Chev with Laura and, uh, and we can't use it. So she suggested we do a voiceover thing, but we'll see. I'm not sure if it spoils it to try and redo it because of course that was literally the first time she'd ever driven it. And that's kind of the point of the show. So we'll see, you guys let me know. I could see if we could get Laura back in the car. I can tell you that uh, she did like the Chev a lot more than she liked this car, so uh, that was uh, kind of a treat. I know uh, it was fun because uh, she wasn't expecting to like it. So anyway, we'll see if we can salvage any of that. Um, I was very, uh, very unhappy about that. Um, for the record, I went and bought a new microphone the next day. I really thought it was the cords and the camera and people leaving it unplugged or whatever, but turns out it was a microphone like there's no moving parts in a microphone how do you you know how do you make a microphone that breaks after a year it just doesn't make any sense but anyhow the Fraser currently reading just about 48,000 miles uh, assuming that's gone around at least once uh, I probably put I don't know I probably only put about 500 miles on it this year but that's uh that's fine there were other years where i drove it a lot more but 
now that I have the Chev and two Furies on the road that I didn't have then, uh, the miles definitely uh, are getting divvied among a larger number of cars. Even the Model T got several hundred miles this year, which is uh, really always, always a blast to take the T out. As for the Fraser, I think the, uh, the weakest link in the car is uh, almost certainly the overdrive. It's, uh, you know, it's not, it's not great. It's still working, but you have to be, you know, I'm very careful with it. And uh, it occasionally will uh, kind of freewheel. And, uh, you know, it's never, it's never been a major issue. And like I say, I have never been let down by the car in the sense that I've had to be towed home. Uh, I did this year find that I have that 57 Studebaker which has the same setup so that actually was kind of encouraging that if anything should uh, make the overdrive terminal that I would be able to repair it using the Studebaker one or at least I'm assuming anyway some, there'd be enough similar parts in there we could fix it up. Mostly we just like driving crankers around hey. Yeah, we do lots of errands in this one. What a good girl. Fun things about the Fraser is you can get it down below 10 miles an hour in third gear. Uh, once the car is moving, you hardly ever need to really shift it again. Um, so that's kind of a fun trick. And, uh, yeah. Clock occasionally moves a little bit. I haven't really made much effort there, but you know, uh, all the gauges are still working, and it's uh, only on its second battery since I put it together. I did put a new battery in it a couple years ago, and uh, that's about it. It's been just a hammer, which is kind of alarming for something that was so terminally ill when I got it. And, uh, yeah, the engine, you know, at first I was kind of wondering how long it would be until it blew up, but honestly, it is no worse now than when I started driving it all those years ago. And you drive it within its limits, there's no reason to think that it's ever going to really uh, cause trouble. So, uh, anyway, that's it. Just want to do a very short update on how the Fraser is doing. Maybe we'll check in on the uh, Plymouth Fury here, and oh, we got lots of stuff to do. And let's get at it. This is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. 